good eye. Aussie fun, so I'll fly gear, there you go. Well, as you can see, either I'm a dirty bugger and I've got the same clothes on on a different day, or it's the same day. And here are the cuttings from the last video, Chinese Elm. I was having so much fun that I thought, you know what? I'm gonna keep having fun and work on another tree. This one here is a pomegranate. Uh, working on this pomegranate and basically just going to give it a bit of a trim exactly like the other one. It's growing really well, it's starting to shoot. Similar sort of twigging you get with a pomegranate. It gets super, super, I'll show you. They get these super little fine leaves, but they're still buds. Ah, uh, twigs, not leaves. But there is still buds on all of these, you know, little super fine ones, like a nimmy finger there. Still buds at the end of that. So, really cool how they do that. Now, this one here should be a bit quicker being a smaller tree. I'll get out the way of the light in a second. So, what I might do is I might keep you guys live for the whole thing. Um... Bit of weird structure here, we'll get rid of that. See on the inside here, obviously this one here, I didn't spend much attention on last year. Various things happened last year. Didn't get time to do a lot of stuff. And a similar thing could happen this year if I'm not careful. Um, as far as pomegranate from cutting, so I think you probably can. I think they'll probably take pretty easy. Just got a feeling that they would. So we're just going to clean up, first of all, the branches that we know we don't want. The ones where there's three or four from one location, we'll cut it back to only two. Some of the old stubs, like up here, we'll cut off. There are some branches on the inside that are slowing down because they got shaded out pretty well. Now the pomegranate itself is actually worse than the Chinese elm for going dormant. As you can see it's still got leaves from last year and it's um, already putting out new buds so pretty crazy. They're just very similar type trees, really. I don't think they're related at all, but oh, apart from being a tree, pretty nice. Yeah, so you're going to get an onslaught of videos from me um, for now because I've just got so many trees that are shooting in spring that need repotting and working on. And, you know, might as well show you guys the process of each one because, you know, you might learn something little on each one. You might want to see an update on one of my trees that you haven't seen for a while. So, I'll do a video on them and if you, you know, get a bit sick of watching them all, it's fine. Watch the ones that you want to watch with the trees you like. And we'll just, you know, see if we can accommodate you. And if anyone's got any funny, weird intros to send me, send them to me. So I want to put them up. Also thought something silly at the end of a video. Not silly, just a different thing, you know. I could put like a fun, fun fact about trees or something, I don't know or plant fun facts you might hear something you haven't heard before mind you it'll just be me googling fun facts and just chucking something up but yeah that's that, it does sound a bit gay doing that actually maybe i won't sure if you guys want to know a fun fact about a tree you can google it Anyway, so we're just 
fixing up the structure a bit, try and have two from any location. If there is three from one location, we want to try to take out one that is either long and straight with no ramification on the inside of a curve or just crossing up and getting congested with other branches. The other ones that you want to cut off or just uninteresting. But down to the, you know, if I want to keep it really, really, really simple, all you're doing is dividing your branches to two in each spot and trying to, you know, make your branches fan out so they all get their own little bit of light. And that's as simple as it is. So you're just trimming so that every little branch that you do keep has its own little space in the tree to get its own little bit of light. So this tree grew pretty well last year. I think I trimmed it back twice, hedge prune method from Walter Paul, legend of a bloke, one of the best bonsai people in the world as far as I'm concerned, pretty bloody good at it. And I just love his approach. Doesn't let anyone tell him what to do. He does it how he does it. And you know what? He's ended up with some bloody nice trees. If you follow him on Instagram, Walter Paul's got some real cracking trees. Love the way he styles them. Not, not a massive fan of the really full-on traditional type styling that some of the professionals do. I like the um, sort of clip and grow with some hint of wiring and some guide wires and things like that. Nigel Saunders, he's a legend. So we're just trying to fan out where all the branches go. Just chopping around, chopping around. If there's any in some weird spots in the middle, chop them out so that we can see some better branch structure. So there's one on the inside here that's getting shaded out anyway. Chop that one off. end up with any real fat nubs or knobs or whatever you want to call them um, at the outside of the what you would call the outside silhouette of your tree well you can get rid of them as well got some branches like in here you've got it too congested take one out another one in here which is getting shaded out and competing too much so gone. This branch structure here is pretty good. You can see it goes to two, to two, to two, to two, all in pretty close proximity. If I could get every branch like that, I'd be laughing, but unfortunately I haven't. So here you got down lower in the tree, you've got three from that one little spot. Because you're lower in the tree, you want to keep the stronger two. Always lower in a tree, you want to keep the stronger two. You don't want to ever keep a weaker one lower in the tree because weak become weaker at the bottom of the tree that will never really strengthen up. And if you're at the top of the tree, quite often you'll go for the two weaker ones, not the stronger ones. And um, that way it sort of balances out the energy in the tree and keeps it more believable because you have the fatter, bigger branches down the bottom and the thinner, 
more elegant, um, finer branching at the top. So it makes it look more believable like an actual tree. And I'm not going to go crazy in here because, to be honest, the structure is not that bad. It's pretty good. Just cleaning it up a little bit, that's all. So I might have done maybe, I don't know, 100 odd snips. Cutting different stuff off. So yeah, go on No Rules Bonsai on Facebook, show your trees. It's amazing how many people have already gone on there, so welcome to the group guys and thanks very much for all your posting and stuff. Um, the group's expanding flat out. Last time I looked at it, it said it grew uh, 800 and something percent in 28 days. That's pretty good. <laughs> it's grown far, a lot faster than my YouTube channel. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Here. Almost done. So I hope it wasn't too painful for some people. Okay, so now here you've got three branches all coming out from the one spot. And you've got this real ugly one. Straight away I look at that, my eye goes straight to it. It just looks super ugly. So what we could do is you can either trim it back and then you realize that you got this nicer branch here that divides better behind it so then you could trim it back more okay or even trim it right off but I'll probably just leave it there for now and let it shoot out somewhere else it might fill in another spot somewhere else okay so here you got a Branch here, a branch here, and then one below it. This one above it's going to end up shading this bottom one out. So let's trim that top one off. I like to have some fullness in all my branches. So some go up, some go down. They go all over the place. So when you think you're done with trimming, you're pretty happy with the branch divisions in general. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect if... A problem occurs because you left three in one spot. Next year when you trim it back, same time of year, you'll just cut that bit off and then it'll regrow something else. So even mistakes can develop good character in your trees. So sometimes the biggest mistakes that you do end up being the best feature. So don't be too pedantic about everything. Just give it a bit of a trim, clean it up, clean the inside of the crotches off. That's the main thing. And if you miss something, don't worry about it. It could end up being a good feature. So, you know what? I'm pretty happy to say that tree is already done. You can go back on the bench to shoot out again. Um, you can see this beautiful base. I'll just give you guys a close-up of this base. So you can see this beautiful base here. So front's here, you can see it's got a nice big root out there, another nice one here. Some coming out the front there now, another big one there, which does this cool little dog leg, divides into two here. And then we've got some other little ones starting to come off here. Another, another few at the back there few good ones here so really cool base starting up on this thing um, you can see how the old bark flakes off as it defoliates or exfoliates not defoliates your weirdo semi exfoliates so yeah that's it that's the pomegranate I'll bring you back here And we're done. So that's that pomegranate done for the, not for the year, but for the spring cleanup. Got quite a few little branches off of there, really cleaned up the interior. Got rid of some major ones that we cut off that were just, you know, silly. Cut them back pretty hard a few. 
but in general most of it we've kept and we've just cleaned it up a little bit and that's all you have to do bonsai is pretty simple just clean it up let it grow clean it up again very very simple basically it's just a potted plant that you give a bit of a trim every now and then okay guys cheers for watching on the bonsai blog please like share subscribe Tell your mates about the channel, and I'll catch you next time. Cheers.